Hi, today we're going to do a lab where you create a potometer. And a potometer is a setup that allows us to observe transpiration in plants. You can go out and select any leafed branch that you think is appropriate. I went out and uh, snipped some Populus tremuloides, the good old aspen tree. Uh, and your goal for this lab is twofold. Number one, you want to set up a potometer which, in which you can observe transpiration. Once you're able to observe it, then you want to change a variable so that you either speed up or slow down transpiration. So let's see, how do we set this up? Well, what we want to do is we want to see the flow of water going up into the stem and then out through the leaves. And the way to do that is uh, to use some glass tubing and some plastic tubing. So Sammy, will you hand me one of those glass tubes there? There's a bin of glass tubes here and then there's also a bin of plastic tubing. So you're going to pick whichever uh, tubing you feel is appropriate for the plant that you selected. Now I'm going to turn the camera down here to this tray of water and you might notice that the water is red. That's okay, honey. Um, and that's because we put a little food coloring in it so that we could, uh, it'll be easier to see the water go through the tubing. And what you want to do is you want to uh, put your uh, glass tubing and your plastic tubing together. Okay, and you want to be gentle with that. And then you want to place it in this water, take a syringe, put it into the edge of this, and then underwater go ahead and draw water through. And that will fill the tubing with water. Okay. Once you've done that, keep it underwater and remove the syringe. You might need a couple of people to do, to do this, so one person's going to hold that underwater. The next step is to prepare the plant to be inserted into the tubing. And the thing about this is that you want to cut a fresh tip underneath the water. So notice how that's under the water, and I'm going to snip the edge of the plant while it's underneath. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want any air bubbles to, uh, to go into the xylem and slow down the transpiration flow. Once this is underwater, I'm going to position the stem inside the tubing. Okay. Now at this point, I can lift up this part. And you can see it like that, that it's in there. Um, and you really have to play with this. Now, now if you notice, the water's coming out of this. That was a problem. Okay. So these are the things you have to deal with. So what I'm going to have to do now is take this out and run the water through it again because, again, we don't want any air bubbles in here. So let's go ahead and draw that water back through here, hold it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a fresh tip. I'm going to position this underwater inside the tubing, and then this time I'm going to have my daughter put her finger on this so that the water doesn't run through there. And just to be sure, I'm going to use some parafilm to secure parafilm is awesome. the connection between the tubing and the plant itself. So remember, this is stretchy stuff. And so underwater, what I'm doing here is I'm wrapping this around and I'm creating an airtight seal so that no air or water is going through here. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up like that, put my finger on it, and here we have the basic setup for the potometer. So basically what you want is you want to have uninterrupted water through here. Now we want to set it up so that we can observe the transpiration. And for that we're going to use a ring stand with some clamps. And these ring stands are really nice and convenient because they have two sides two-sided clamps to them. So you can put one end on this side, and you can put one end on this side. There we go. Okay, now this tubing is a little bit short. So again, you know, it may take several tries for you to set this up, but what you're eventually going to want to see is you're going to want to see the water level 
going down this tubing, and this is calibrated with marks on it, so you should be able to collect some data and make some measurements and time how long it takes for the water to go through. Now think about it, the only reason that the water would be moving through here is because it's going up through the plant and out through the stomates of the leaves. So this is the general setup for the photometer. Uh, it's a little tricky, don't get frustrated in setting it up, it might take multiple tries. Uh, you do want to equilibrate this. The first time you set it up, the water might move a lot, and then uh, it'll kind of stabilize, and then you'll start to see a slow transpiration going, and then you can collect your data and observe. Let's see if you guys can give it a go.